Hi darlings, I'm Charlotte Tilbury and I'm here today with my great friend, Sabrina Elba that you are now called. And we are here to reveal the secrets, tips and tricks behind this amazing wedding makeup look that we created in Marrakesh for your wedding day and your first Vogue cover. So darlings, for any red carpet moment, we have to prep our skin. And I know you love the Instant Magic Dry Sheet Facial Mask. A little too much. Oh my God, you sent me the most <laughs> hilarious picture of you and Idris on the way to your honeymoon with these on, on the kind of, on the PJ. But they're so <laughs> easy to use. He was like, I got it. Putting it on and just like had it behind his ears and everything. It does also, save yeah. your skin on the plane. Anyway, so we put that on for the wedding day just to prep, prep the skin because it is your red carpet moment when you're yes. going down that aisle. So now we're going to start off by using Magic Cream is Magic Skin. So, I mean, you really do have magical skin. I have to say, I'm the luckiest girl in the world. It was pretty easy. So we're going to pop a little bit of this Magic Cream on here. Look at your skin so divine. Feels so good. Oh, look at that skin. You don't need to start. <sighs> We're gonna pop on a little bit of eye rescue, which is great. I put it all around this whole dome area here. What we love is glowing brides. And so anyway, Hollywood Flawless Filter, how much do we love this product? This is like an Instagram filter for the face. It gives you that amazing soft focus glow. I mean, you've got no pores, so you're super lucky. <laughs> what shade was mine again? So you are shade six in Hollywood Flawless Filter. And it's gorgeous. It just brings out the beautiful kind of golden undertones that were in your skin and really makes you kind of like, gives you that amazing Hollywood glow. I am using my Magic Away Concealer and this basically has this kind of gummy texture that smooths everything out. So now I'm just going to use Number nine, I'm using four different colors because I want to use a paler color for underneath the eyes. And I'm just going to put that, I'm just going to show you there. I'm going to use a darker color to contour, but we'll do that in a minute. And then I'm going to use two colors to do your entire face. So we're just going to go on the under eye. This is number 12, and I'm just going to use a little bit of that around the nose. This is like a master class for me. Okay. So darlings, now we're going to contour and we're going to use the concealer to just do a little contour on the crown, which we love. A little on the chin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now we're just going to take this amazing brush and we're just going to stipple that in, blend it into the skin. We did a little bit of 12, a little bit of nine. Gorgeous. Right, we are going to use Airbrush Flawless Powder. Now this really does, I mean, Sabrina, you are literally Airbrush Flawless. <laughs> and I use two and three. Two and three, I, exactly. Yeah. So I like to use the paler powder to number two underneath the eyes and down the center of the face, the sides, a little bit there. And then I use the darker powder just around the forehead and the cheekbones. So I'm gonna put a bit of powder on the eyelids just to create a great base for the powder. So now we're gonna use Perfect Brow, Legendary Brows, and a little bit of my Brow Lift pencil. So I'm using the brow pencil just to go underneath the brow to find the line and we draw small strokes. What we want to do is make it look as natural as possible. So I'm taking a little bit of this eyebrow, tinted eyebrow gel, and it's, it's called Perfect Brow, this color. And I'm literally just brushing up and it paints all the hairs individually. So as you're putting it on, it really gives that effect of real luscious brows. 
So on the day, we decided to do something very kind of, we wanted browns and kind of a little bit of sort of, I know you love mattes. Mm, I, do, I do. And I know that we wanted a little bit of sparkles. We wanted to kind of create those sort of dreamy, ethereal eyes. I love that you opened up my eyes sort of this way. Yeah, we, dra we dragged them out. Exactly. Yeah. Kind of, you've got these amazing cheekbones and I wanted to just sort of drag your eyes, really elongate them up to kind of enhance those. So we're going to take a little bit of my, um, my blender brush and we're going to dip that into this gorgeous chocolate mahogany matte shade. And we're just going to go in the socket backwards and forwards like a windscreen wiper. And I'm going to slightly drag it up and out at the outer corner just to give that elongation to the eyes. And now with, I'm going to take a smudger brush and dipping it into the same shade, I'm just going to go underneath the eyes. What we wanted to create for Sabrina's wedding was something that was just the most beautiful version of Sabrina. We, you, you wanted a very chic, understated. Mm. Very simple, but the no makeup, but makeup. Yeah. Which I think you nailed. I so, felt really natural, but I just felt elevated. I'm going to use, and I'm going to use my finger because this texture is so divinely gorgeous. Close your eyes, a little pop onto the eyelid, which you can literally use with your finger to just give it a dreamy look to the eyebrows, but using very kind of chocolates and bronzes, just really enhancing your beautiful eye shape. Right, and I'm going to use a little bit of this gorgeous golden shade, a little bit of this gold. And I'm just going to pop that into that inner V corner here just to make the eyes pop and open them up. So we're now going to use my chocolate brown powder pencil. And I'm using this right the way along Sabrina's lash line and just using it up and out at the outer corners to again, just elongate the eyes. On your wedding day, you should be the most beautiful version of yourself. The makeup should not wear you. Yeah. It should just be enhancing your features in the most dreamy makeup. I wish I could walk down the aisle again, again and again and again. And again. <laughs> that was my favorite part. So now, darlings, we're going to put on a little bit of mascara, a girl's best friend. So, darlings, we're now going to do your lips. This is a brand new lipstick that no one knows about. It's called Enigmatic Edward. It's a big secret. No one knows that. I've made it in homage to my gorgeous friend, Edward Enningfall, who we both love and adore. And we're going to pop a little bit of this on, a little bit of Enigmatic Edward onto your lips. And this is a gorgeous lip condition to just, oh, that looks divine. So, darlings, we're going to put a little bit of blush on. And this is called the Climax. A little bit of naughtiness onto the cheeks. I love this peachy colour on the skin. It's so naturally beautiful. I'm a sucker for a peachy blush. Yeah. Beautiful on your skin tone. So final touches, we are doing Bond Girl, which I know is your favourite lipstick. You wear it all the time. I <laughs> love you. I do. It's, that's my day <laughs> today. I love it. I think I made it for you. Should we just rename it Sabrina? I like that's that. It. Sabrina the, the Bond, Bond Girl, Girl. <laughs> Oh, why not? Yes. <laughs> I always pair lip liners to lipsticks because I think it's a great way to kind of trace the outline of your lip and give you the perfect pout. Finally, a little bit of bonga. And the final stage is Goldgasm. This is a beauty light wand and it's amazing for picking up gorgeous glowy highlights, a bit like shining a diva light onto your skin. This goldgasm for you is beautiful. There we are, my darlings. We have created your wedding look from Marrakesh. Yay! 